ABC. This is WEAU 13 News at 6. All new at 6, live pictures from our Eau Claire Sky Cam showing blue skies. The oppressive heat is gone, but not without some problems. Powerful storms ripped through the region last night, causing plenty of damage, including part of a tree down on top of this SUV in Buffalo County. More on those storms in just a moment, but we know a lot of you have outdoor plans this evening as your holiday weekend kicks into high gear. Sky 13 meteorologist Matt Hoffman is here with a look for the next few hours. Yeah, thanks, Jenny. Actually, a beautiful day today, a lot less humid than what we saw yesterday. First of all, though, we'll take a quick look at the storm reports from yesterday. In our viewing area, we saw 22 reports of wind damage. A lot of that where we were seeing wind gusts up to 60 to 80 miles per hour. You can see quite a few around the La Crosse area and then up towards the north and uh, around Hayward. Uh, there were reports of trees down and also a, a stop sign being blown away. So very impressive yesterday with that line of storms. but. That's really what gave us our beautiful weather today. Sunny skies, it's clear sailing along uh, across western Wisconsin on the satellite and radar. Nothing out there. Temperatures were in the 80s today and it was a lot less humid. And we're going to have a very quiet night tonight and temperatures are going to drop off pretty quickly through the 70s and into the 60s. So much nicer. We'll have the full 4th of July forecast coming up in just a bit. Back to you, Jenny. Thanks, Matt. Now the latest on last night's violent weather. Today we learned two people died from the storms, including an 11-year-old girl killed by a falling tree. Hardest hit Burnett County. Nearly 40 people went to hospitals for treatment of injuries. Several thousand are without power. Crews are also searching for a group of missing canoeists along the St. Croix River. Emergency teams went on an aerial tour of the damage earlier today. The storm could not have hit at a worse time while the area only has about 15,000 people living there. That number swells to close to 80,000 for holiday weekends. Because of the damage and power outages, the Red Cross has set up a shelter at the Grantsburg Middle School in Burnett County. Another shelter is set up at, at the Blaine Township Hall in the northern part of the county. Both locations also have water for those who might need it. And take a look at this tree down in front of a house in Buffalo County. This was sent in from Chris Stowe of Wamandy. He says a few trees have come crashing down last night around 945 as those storms blasted through the area. Firefighters put out a fire in La Crosse earlier this morning after a home got struck by lightning. The La Crosse Fire Department says it happened just before 2 this morning at 716 Winnebago Street. Crews say a man who was home at the time of the lightning strike called 911 and rushed to a neighbor's home. They say they quickly put out a fire on the second floor caused by the lightning strike. There are no injuries reported. And here's another pic, this one from our Facebook page. Jacob sent this one in showing some dramatic lightning in the sky over Shitek. Anytime you see severe weather, you can, you can help us cover the storm, upload your video and pics to our Facebook page, plus follow on air, online, on Twitter, and on our 24-7 weather channel. You can also download our apps for iPhone and Android. The Sky 113 Storm team is everywhere you are. Other big stories this weekend, boaters and anglers at nearly 90 Wisconsin lakes and rivers are being greeted at boat landings by Department of Natural Resources wardens. The goal of the boat landing blitz is to stop the spread of invasive species. WEAU's Aaron Dimmick has the story. The DNR out in full force today, making sure some hitchhikers don't destroy our waterways. The DNR says the invasive species with nasty names like Asian carp, Eurasian water milfoil, rusty crawfish, and zebra mussels hitched a ride to the states on freighters traveling from Europe and Asia. At a Chippewa River boat launch today, DNR Deputy Conservation Warden Justin Wershofen is one of dozens of DNR wardens checking boats this weekend. Making sure that everyone has a clean boat and a dry boat when they are done uh, recreating for the day. Uh, making sure that no one is transporting any plants or fish or any other aquatic organisms across our roadways. Wershofen says the invasion is also threatening our economy. The invasives tend to take over areas very quickly and really reduce the amount of water that uh, can be properly recreated, whether it's fishing or just general boating. And although Asian carp hasn't swam up into the Chippewa Valley yet, the threat looms. We do have a lot of uh, boat traffickers that go between our body of water and down to the Mississippi. Claire Fultz says she's helped clean up the invaders on Lake Wissota and wishes other boaters would take the threat more seriously. People need to be more diligent about cleaning their boats when they get out of the water. I think some people are aware of it. I hope everybody cares about it. The DNR tells me that boaters can be fined over $200 for transporting or launching a boat that has invasive species on it. 
in Eau Claire. Aaron Dimmick, WEAU, 13 News. A food dehydrator is being blamed for starting a basement fire this morning. It happened at a home on Omaha Street in Eau Claire's north side. The homeowner told the fire department that she heard a pop in the basement and then saw smoke. Firefighters quickly put out the basement blaze and removed windows to air out the smoke. There's believed to be $10,000 in damage to the home. No one was hurt. Some good news if your holiday travels take you to Rib Mountain State Park near Wassa. The main road into the park is once again clear of construction. A new walking path was built for a safer route into the park. This after it was noticed that many people were entering the park on foot. Quite a different story with state parks across the border in Minnesota. They've locked tight this weekend. So are campgrounds. Thanks to the government shutdown there, state lawmakers couldn't agree on a budget and that forced all non-essential all non state jobs to cease for the time being. There are no plans for lawmakers to meet until after the holiday. And with the 4th of July weekend here, people across the country will be marking the holiday with fireworks and backyard barbecues. But as NBC's Michelle Franson reports, it, it also signals the kickoff to the family summer vacations. The July 4th holiday getaway is on. This year, more than 39 million Americans are expected to travel. That's down 2.5% from last year, according to AAA. Well, in terms of fewer people driving, it's really all about the sustained period of very expensive gasoline prices, which are right now about 80 cents more than they were this time last year. The majority of travelers are still hitting the roads, but this year there is also a shift. Despite a jump in ticket prices, air travel is expected to be up 9%. It certainly seems that there's a pent-up travel demand. People have definitely put their leisure travel on the back burner over the last few years, and it appears that they're ready to travel again. When it comes to destinations, Orlando still tops the list for families along with national parks and the beach. But whether flying or driving, travel experts say there are still deals if travelers are flexible when it comes to where you go and where you stay. They should be taking advantage of added value deals from hotels. This is free nights, free room upgrades, kids stay free. Take advantage of all of those offerings to offset higher gas prices and higher airfare. But for many Americans, travel plans are still taking a back seat to concerns over the economy. We're going to stay local this summer. Things are tight. Staying close to home, but still celebrating this 4th of July. Michelle Franzen, NBC News, New York. 400 pieces of evidence, 33 days of testimony, and it all com comes down to this. Up next, the very latest on the Casey Anthony murder trial. Plus, one of the most picturesque places to watch 4th of July fireworks won't shoot them off this year. Find out what's behind the move at Mount Rushmore. And we want to know how you're spending the holiday weekend. Head to our Facebook page right now and take part in our poll. Find us by going to weau.com and clicking on the Facebook icon. You are watching WEAU 13 News at 6, Western Wisconsin's number one news. Listen for your Skywarn 13 forecast every day on today's Wax 104.5. At Lee's Uniform Center, you can shop from name brands such as Grey's Anatomy, Cherokee, and more. Lee's knowledgeable staff prides themselves in excellent customer service. Located at 2215 Fairfax Street in the Charleston Square off Claremont Avenue between Kmart and Memorial High School. Okay, listen up. Here's the deal. The finance guys at Ford have crunched the 26,055 MSRP on a loaded Ranger XLT 4x4 four-door super cab with manual transmission. It came up with a price of around 18,254. That's right, around 18,254. Limited supply, first come, first serve. Plus, get $250 of genuine Ford accessories. Trust me, you want this deal. We're talking the most fuel-efficient pickup, number one in MPGs, and well-equipped. Better hurry. This thing ends July 5th. Affordable dentures. We're committed to deliver dentures at a price people really can't afford. And that commitment to our patients has always been important to us. So we're keeping our prices low and continuing to deliver a great denture at a great price. All our dentures are made in this office, in our own lab. And most services are available the same day if you come in early enough. New dentures really are affordable. Call 1-800-DENTURE for more information. It's our pride in the red, white, and blue. It's our commitment that always comes shining through. At Farm and Fleet, we're committed to helping you find value. Right now, save on a Flotec shallow well jet pump, $129.99.
This Danby Premier dehumidifier is $159.99. And check out this Generac inverter generator. Sale priced $499.99. There's a thin line between sleeping okay and getting real rest. Experience night therapy with Spirit Sleep mattresses now available at Corgers Furniture and Decorating. Spirit Sleep uses the latest technology and antibacterial protection from natural renewable sources while giving you the support and comfort of a tempur mattress. Queen sets starting at $6.99. 30-day sleep trial, free delivery, free removal of old mattress with purchase of any Spirit Sleep set. Corgers Furniture and Decorating, brands you know, people you trust. Downtown Chippewa Falls. Shop Lee's Uniform Center for medical scrubs, shoes, and accessories. Lee's carries men's and women's scrubs in all sizes. They work with all school programs and professionals, offering professional discounts, layaway, and a rewards program. Come in as a customer. Leave us a friend at Lee's Uniform Center. For 33 days, the story has captivated many Americans. They've sat for hours watching the trial of Casey Anthony. From the dysfunctional family and allegations of incest to little Casey Anthony, who remains found not from, from the family, home in Florida. Tomorrow, closing arguments begin, and by the end of the day, the case could go to the jury. Jay Gray has the very latest from Orlando. Gentlemen, the jury, this concludes the presentation of all evidence. And now comes the closing arguments. The courtroom is closed today. Judge Belvin Perry giving the prosecution and defense a full day to prepare. And then on Sunday, each side will get a half day to deliver their final crucial address to the jury. That's Legal right. analysts say the prosecution must stay the course. No matter what you do in this case, no matter how you put the puzzle together, based on her own admission, her lies and her behavior, all inferences correlated from, really there's only one conclusion, that she's responsible, she's liable, and that's it. That's okay. all you can do as a prosecutor. It's very simple. But not as easy, some say, for the defense. Fireworks and nonsense from the defense. You have to hit that there is no premeditation. There is no intent to kill. And you have to ask the jury, how did she die? How did this happen? As the proceedings wrapped up on Friday, there was perhaps a hint at what we'll hear. If you separate the facts from fiction and inferences being stacked on inferences, this is really not something that should result in guessing by a jury. Defender Cheney Mason was arguing for an acquittal, citing a lack of evidence. It was denied. The jury should be the body that makes the decision as to what is indeed fact and what is fiction. After six weeks of testimony and more than 350 items entered as evidence, the jury will get that chance tomorrow. Jay Gray, NBC News, Orlando. This holiday weekend, it's all about immigration in Georgia. Protests today at the state capitol over the new tough immigration law. Thousands came out to show their disgust over the bill just signed by the governor. They say it creates an unwelcome environment for those in search of a better life. Georgia's law is patterned after Arizona's highly controversial bill. Also, as we cover America, a sluggish economy and a tight supply of cars from Japanese automakers held U.S. auto sales down in June. Overall, car sales are up 7% over last year, but that's less than predicted. There is, however, an increasing demand for pickup trucks. Number one on the top selling vehicle list is the Ford F-Series. Japanese automakers had a tough month. They're, they're still struggling to get vehicles to dealerships following the devastating earthquake and tsunami. Those headed to Mount Rushmore to celebrate the 4th of July will be disappointed to learn they'll be missing the spectacular tradition of fireworks. For a second straight year, the Park Service has suspended the popular fireworks event at Mount Rushmore because the wildfire hazard is too high. This video was shot at the 4th of July celebration in 2008. The fireworks display typically attracts thousands of people every year. This 4th of July, the Consumer Product Safety Commission and the Red Cross are reminding parents to make sure their kids are safe around pools. According to a new study, there have been 48 drownings and 75 near drownings since Memorial Day. The Red Cross says kids need to know how to swim before hitting the waters, and pools and spas should be protected by fencing and locks. It also says parents should know how to do CPR just in case of emergency. Coming up after the break, will the sky stay clear for the 4th of July fireworks this holiday weekend? Meteorologist Matt Hoffman will be in net with a check of your full Sky 113 forecast. You're watching WEAU 13 News. Set your alarm so you won't miss Home Furniture's Beat the Clock Sale. This weekend, save at least 29% on everything. That's 29% or more, plus free financing for one year. Hurry, Beat the Clock ends Sunday, only at Home Furniture. Hello, 
I'm the Gordy's Guru, inviting WEAU viewers to join me on a five-day getaway to discover beautiful San Francisco and the Napa Valley, October 17th to the 21st. Our vacation features four relaxing evenings in the heart of Fisherman's Wharf. We'll also see towering coastal redwoods at Muir Woods National Monument and enjoy a journey aboard the elegant Napa Valley Wine Train. For your free brochure, call 1-800-826-2266. That's 1-800-826-2266. Chris, we're so excited for the new Planet Snoopy at Valley Fair. 17 rides. It's huge. Plus, junior and senior tickets are only $9.99. See you there. Love, Anne. It's all new with a five-star frontal crash rating. Five stars means safe. Five-star protection. Crash rating. Five-star side. Size two, three, four, five-star crash. Side crash rating. Side only. Side. Lots of cars get five stars in one category, but not in every combined category. The one, the Accord sedan. For great leases and low financing, visit your Honda dealer or shophonda.com. At Sleep Express, upgrade to the highest level of comfort and save on Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Receive up to $200 off your complete set. Plus, get free financing till 2015 for a limited time at Sleep Express. Inside all home furniture stores. And now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're starting uh, June, uh, July off rather at a very nice note, especially today. But June was quite extreme across western Wisconsin, especially in Eau Claire, well above normal for precip. And a lot of that came, over half of it came on the eight, between the 18th and the 19th. That 24 hour period saw 4.84 inches. Of course, we remember we had a lot of flash flooding across Eau Claire, so very extreme. And temperatures as well. Our highest temp was 100 degrees. We all remember that day. But our lowest temp, morning low of 37, that's quite the difference between high and low for the month. And that's, uh, you can compare it to 2010. 88 was our high temp and lowest temp was 47 degrees. So not as much of a difference between those two. So pretty intense out there, but we're starting off July on a much nicer note after the storms from yesterday. But the next couple days look awesome out there, especially for the big 4th of July weekend. Right now, 82 degrees, a dew point of 55, much more comfortable. Yesterday, dew points were in the 70s. Heat index values were well into the 100s. So much nicer today, a west wind at 10 miles per hour. So very pleasant, high pressure is settling into the area and that's gonna keep our weather quiet for the next couple of days. Next rain chance comes in here on Tuesday. 82 right now in Eau Claire, 81 in Nielsville, 81 up in Hayward, 80 in Ladysmith. Just a beautiful day, a little bit warmer down towards the south, 86 in La Crosse, 86 as well as Camp, in Camp Douglas and 82 in Winona. Taking a look at temperatures at a broader scale, you can see some warmer temperatures into Illinois, 89 in Chicago, but much much more comfortable air off towards the west. Temperatures 80 in Alexandria, 80 in Sioux Falls, and that will be the air that will move in tomorrow. Temperatures only in the lower 80s. We got up to around 85 today in Eau Claire, so not too bad. Much more comfortable air as well. Dew points only in the 50s, and that will continue on to tomorrow. But some muggy air off towards the west. Dew points in the 60s. That's that sticky air that will move back in for the 4th of July, and temperatures will, will warm up as well into the upper 80s. Satellite radar clear as a bell for the most part in the Skyward 13 viewing area. A few clouds moving in. We'll see more in the way of clouds, I think, tomorrow. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, but we'll still see a fair amount of sunshine. And that'll continue on to Monday as well. Looking at high pressure settling into the area, clear night tonight, and also cooler temperatures only in the 50s, so much cooler than the past couple of nights. And then high pressure will move in tomorrow. Maybe a few clouds moving through the area, but really any chances of rain will remain often towards Minnesota and Iowa. So looking very nice for all outdoor activities, barbecues, everything going on. And then on Monday, nice as well with high pressure still in control. This cold front will approach, but it will wait to do so. So it looks great for those 4th of July fireworks, but then that rain will move in on Tuesday. Your forecast tonight, 56 degrees, clear skies and cool. And as we head on into tomorrow, looking nice. 83, partly cloudy, comfortable, pretty much a perfect summer day out there. And as we head on into Monday for the 4th of July, 86 seven degrees. It'll be a little bit more muggy, a little bit more summer-like, feeling a lot more summer-like. And then we'll have some summertime thunderstorms on Tuesday. And then we'll cool back down and it's going to be comfortable as well as we go on in towards the end of the week. So just 
Fourth of July weekend looks great out there, so really we lucked out. Sounds it's, perfect for yes. anyone who's at the lake or up at their cabin. Yeah. It's beautiful. A lot of people are going to be out enjoying it. All right. Thanks, yep. Matt. Next in sports, the troubles and the losses continue to mount for the Brewers after a frustrating night in Minneapolis. But first, hear why the Express aren't hanging their heads as they return to Carson Park, carrying a five-game losing streak. You're watching WEAU 13 News. Skywarn 13 Weather is brought to you by Shipshape Car Wash. Did you know 9 out of 10 growing kids don't get the recommended amounts of whole grain and calcium? That's where their favorite cereals like Trix and Cocoa Puffs can help. General Mills Big G has the only leading line of kids cereals with at least 8 grams of whole grain and a good source of calcium. Look for the white check on the cereals they already love, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Lucky Charms. Help them grow up strong with General Mills Kid Cereals. My last wireless company, they were call droppers. So I switched to U.S. Cellular. What a difference. Now I've got the highest call quality on a great national network. So when Carlos calls to tell me when we're meeting for dinner, I never worry about our call dropping. Pretty sweet, right? Oop, gotta go. Get the highest call quality and network satisfaction of any national carrier. Switch to U.S. Cellular and be with the happiest customers in wireless. Want to find fantastic furniture at everyday low prices? Then come see us at Economy Furniture. Here at Economy Furniture, we've been locally owned since 1950. We have two floors of the best furniture selection around. At Economy Furniture, you don't have to wait for a sale to find low prices. We have them every day. We carry made in Wisconsin brands like Wolfcraft, Marshfield, Ashley, and Bestcraft, all of course at low prices. Stop in and see us and discover why we are Economy Furniture. Nature is unique, authentic, pure, and also delicious. Like Nature Valley, granola bars made with crunchy oats and pure honey. Because natural is not only good, it also tastes good. Nature Valley, 100% natural, 100% delicious. The last two weeks are full of streaks for the Eau Claire Express. After winning eight straight, the Express have lost five in a row, falling out of first place in the South Division. Eau Claire does have something to smile about as highly regarded Nebraska left-hander Logan Ehlers arrives to the team today. Now Eau Claire's task is ending a losing skid that includes numerous close losses. Each of the Express's last three defeats have been by three runs or less, putting hopes of a first-half title in jeopardy. But manager Dale Varsho and his players are confident they can get hot again soon. Now's the time the real grind starts, but we're in a good situation. Not everybody has to play every day. We have a lot of good position players that can fill in, and we really don't lose a beat. And, you know, hopefully we can just get them to hit the ball a little bit better and be more consistent and get some timely hits. None of us came out here to lose. None of us came out here to, to you know, finish outside of the playoffs. We're all here to win a championship. That's, that's what we're brought here together for. Once you win a game, that just kind of puts you on the, on the right road and really just kind of puts things in the right mindset and you say, okay, we won one tonight. Why not just go out and win a, win a few more? The Express now trail Madison by two games for first place with only five games left before the end of the first half on Wednesday. Waiting out a two-hour rain delay didn't pay off for the Brewers last night in Minneapolis. Milwaukee's 6-2 loss to the Twins drops them a game behind St. Louis for first in the National League Central. It also runs their losing streak to four games and snaps a seven-game win streak in the border rivalry. Last night would actually start well after the delay. Carlos Gomez gave the Brewers a 1-0 lead 
with his sixth home run of the year, a deep shot to center field. But Twins DH Jim Tomey one-upped him in his first at bat, crushing a three-run homer, number 594 all-time to put the Twins up 3-1. to one. Milwaukee cut it to 3-2 to two in the third, but in the fifth, Prince Fielder left an easy double play ball, slipped right between his legs as the Twins go on to get a 6-2 to two win. Last night's loss took the Brewers out of first place in the NL Central. They're a game behind St. Louis entering game two against the Twins. Right now in the first inning, it's 0-0, and Chris Narvison is starting opposite Carl Pavano. Championship weekend at the All England Club begins with an unlikely pairing in the women's singles final. Eight seed Petra Kvitova would make her Grand Slam final debut. Her opponent, Maria Sharapova, is back on the rise but hasn't made a final in a major in three years. Sharapova looking for a fourth Grand Slam singles title. Kvitova going for her first in front of fellow Czech Martina Navratilova. First set, Kvitova would dominate, get Sharapova to chase, then smash the easy overhand winner. Kvitova takes the set 6-3. Second set, Sharapova showing her skills, flails at the shot, then puts a backhand right inside the line. That'll get the break point. A fired up Sharapova evens the set at two, but Kvitova never made the big mistake. Championship point, her first ace of the match seals it. Kvitova wins 6-3, 6-4 to win Wimbledon and her first major title. East to Germany, the United States taking on Colombia in a Group C matchup in the World Cup. From the start, the Americans in control. 12th minute off a Colombian defender, Heather O'Reilly with a 25-yard strike to the far post. Tremendous goal, and it's a 1-0 lead for the U.S. Second half, 50th minute, Lauren Cheney to Megan Rapinoe. She finds the back of the net, leading to this. Ryan Fissound. Interesting way to celebrate. All smiles for the U.S. They get another score in the 57th minute, courtesy of Carly Lloyd. They win a second straight shutout three zip. They secure a spot in the quarterfinals and can win the group with at least a tie against Sweden on Wednesday. Jenny, plenty of good baseball coming up tonight. Brewers Twins going on right now as we speak in a beautiful night. So if you want to go to, um, to Carson Park and check out the Express, see if they can snap their losing streak, you can do that as well. All right. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Stay with us. You're watching WEE 13 News. Okay, listen up. Here's the deal. The finance guys at Ford have crunched the 26,055 MSRP on a loaded Ranger XLT 4x4 four-door super cab with manual transmission. It came up with a price of around 18,254. That's right, around 18,254. Limited supply, first come, first serve. Plus, get $250 of genuine Ford accessories. Trust me, you want this deal. We're talking the most fuel-efficient pickup, number one in MPGs, and well-equipped. Better hurry. This thing ends July 5th. Golf is such a mental sport. It's a hard sport that's hard to master. There's nothing better than the feeling of having a nice solid drive, just seeing your ball fly down the middle of the fairway is just a great feeling. My most rewarding experience is to have someone come in and say that they just love the clubs that you help them get. I'm Taryn Hicks, and I'm a golf expert at Shields. Can I eat heart healthy without giving up taste? A man can only try. And try. And try. I heard eating whole grain oats can up lower my cholesterol. It's gonna be tough. So tough. My wife and I want to lower our cholesterol, but finding healthy food that tastes good is torturous. Mm. Your father's suffering. Mm. Honey Nut Cheerios taste great and can help lower cholesterol. Be happy, be healthy. The next time you're in need of a tow, call Adams Automotive BP in Eau Claire. Their top-of-the-line trucks and expert equipment will get you out of a jam. Trust Adams Automotive BP with your vehicle. Their Wreckmaster certified towers are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Adams Automotive BP is an authorized AAA center. They're also your stop for BP gasoline with Invigorate. It has an enhanced cleaning formula which helps clean and protect your engine and also helps your car run younger for longer. Adams Automotive. WEAU 13 News presents the Community Calendar. You can find the area's largest database of events right now on WEAU.com. Click on Community. Good to 
this 4th of July weekend. Yeah, I mean, we're really making up for a very cool spring and the winter that we had. So it's going to be a beautiful weekend and uh, looks nice. Tomorrow it's going to be comfortable, 83 degrees. Then Monday looks great for the 4th. It will be more muggy and also warmer as well. So watching those fireworks, you'll probably be sweating a little bit. But uh, rain moves in on Tuesday. All right. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. We hope you join us again tonight at 10 for more news, weather, and sports. news happening. Tonight's NBC primetime lineup on WEAU is brought to you by Charter.